Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming my 25th month update. Last month I filmed my two year anniversary. I was so excited, I was so happy and I shared with you a little bit of how it progressed and I showed a lot of before and after from the beginning and from my one year anniversary up until now. Right now I am in the process of documenting my hair more consistently because I really want to see if I'm going to experience a setback. Two years is a very sensitive year for me. That's when a lot of things have fallen apart in my previous journeys and I just want to be ahead of that. I don't have plans. I just want to be ready and aware. So I'm hoping from month 25 to month 36, I will be able to film an update monthly about my hair. And I will also uh, sprinkle other types of sister logs video regarding other things that I uh, think about. Uh, hopefully I have good ideas and I can share more, but my monthly updates are really going to be important. And I really want to take you guys along with me because I need your support for this second year of my journey. I really want it to go well. I'm praying and I'm just going to go ahead and share because I know that I'm, I'm not stressing about it necessarily, but I think about it. If I know that it's something that maybe I'm going to be thinking about a little bit more than before, I just, I think I need an outlet to share and I'll be analyzing my hair a little bit more. I'll be looking at it to see what's going on. The growth is amazing. I understand that my hair will not stay super long when it locks. I understand this part. The locking process is not going to be a problem. I don't think I'm going to freak out that some of my locks become shorter because they're locking. It's really typical. So I will be sharing that with you guys. Also, my routine will not change. I'm still going to be braiding and banding. I'm still going to be washing my hair every two to three weeks. Right now, that's my goal. I'm mainly washing every three weeks now, three to four weeks sometimes, but I'm trying to see if I can get it down to every two to three weeks. My retightening schedule is longer. Again, that's not something we want, but it is right now every six to eight weeks i think it is if you guys have questions if you guys have things that you'd like me to talk about don't hesitate it will be really my pleasure and also i wanted to present my hair in my length check shirt i found my shirt my length check shirt and i i was excited and i tried it on with my hair and we can see so i'm gonna insert footage from me checking my length with my length check shirt so this also will be able to use this shirt you know just to to see how the growth is going during the year 2021 until march 2022 so i'm gonna use my shirt and i'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like i'm really really excited so i'm gonna try to show you my hair i always have a hard time showing my hair so today I'm going to try to do better. I'm just going to change my aperture. My aperture is not as wide open as usually I leave it at 1.4. Right now I put it at 6.3 so we can see my hair better. So now when I show my hair, it's not going to be as blurry. My last retightening was, let me check my calendar. Oh, last retightening was February 27. It's been a while. We are now April 17th. My next retightening is next week. My hair is, oh, I didn't count how many weeks. When I get to my appointment, it will be eight weeks post retightening. And this is my grid. Am I too close? And I don't know if there's not enough lighting. I hope there is. So this is my hair. And if you want to look at the grid, this is what it's looking like at seven weeks. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. I am really loving it. My hair is shoulder length. 
but we saw that last time it's only been a month since my last update let me see if i can show the back side i just filmed my length check shirt footage and i'm really excited i like using those elastics now these elastics are the you know these these elastics that you get with hair bundles when you do braids these are those elastics and i really really like them so last time i did my daughter's hair i got a few from the bundles and this is what i've been wearing to tie up my hair. I also bought these bungee, bungee hair elastics. I bought them from Amazon a few months ago actually. I've had them for a while but I don't use them. I feel like they don't stretch enough so I don't know if I didn't buy the right size but they don't stretch enough. I can't even easily do this with my hair. I can tie them but when I don't have the black elastic, it's really hard. So they're not my favorite. They're not my go-to. I find them hard to use and I don't want to put them on my locks, like hook them on my locks. So I hook it on the elastic itself. Like I hook them like this, put the two hooks and that's it. It only stretches like this far. I don't know. I don't like these so much. So yeah, I like these elastics, the ones that I can find in the bundles. Otherwise, I would use the regular Goody Outlets. My memory card was full, so I had to switch. But what I was saying is that I prefer the thin black one that are like plastic because I don't tie them really tight. They are very loose. They don't give me a headache and I do my messy updo like this. When I want it to be neater, I also have another way that I do my hair. I pull it back, I slick it with my hands until it's really slick and then I lube the elastic twice so that it stays. I can't do a style like that for too long, but to film a video or to go to church, for example, it's not the whole day, it's only a couple hours, I can do that. I just wanted to start my first update of the second year of the third year with this video so this will be the video i refer to to compare my hair throughout the year and especially at the end of the year so hopefully i got enough footage i didn't do a 360 so i did my updo for nothing but if i turn like this you can see my hair it does pull at your hair a little bit though so well, let me do it 360 so this is my hair on this side so i showed you the back before so i'm not going to refilm the back but this is the left side okay i think that's enough next side i won't have a mirror to see okay so next side this is the right side if i wear my hair in the side part this is where my hair is not as full because i don't have as much hair on this side so most of my hair is going on the other side this part is probably thinner and finer uh, this is my length shirt shirt i've had it since 2009 these are supposed to be separated per inches one is like the beginning and then per inches you'll be able to follow your hair growth and the last number is number 13 whoa lucky number 13 on this shirt i didn't see where the 13 goes on my body i don't remember i don't think it goes that far because this is the underarm so the underarm is not too far from 13 so if i reach 13 i will be very happy i want to reach like waist length i don't know we'll see but my my first goal is to reach bra strap if i saw correctly when i was doing the length check shirt i'm at line number two right now without pulling my hair and if i pull my hair i'm at line number six or seven which is really good 
This is the longest that I was able to grow my hair so far, I think, ever so i'm really happy now it is in lux so i'm expecting it to grow longer at least twice as long so here's to hoping here's to succeeding uh, but this is it for my 25th month update if you like this video please like if you haven't done so please subscribe and leave a comment if you have ideas on how i can document this third year a lot of you guys have joined me i'm really happy about that but other than that thank you so much for watching my video i will see you next time bye